Part of the process for getting ready for your data transfer appliance is creating users, groups, and policies. Uh, to do this in the console, we're going to go to the navigation here. We're going to go down to identity. Once we're at identity, we're going to create a couple new users. To do this, you have to be one of the sysadmins or the project sponsor with enough level access to create a user groups and policies under identity and access management. Let's take a look at what we need to create. We'll need to create a data administrator. Uh, this person is responsible for preparing uh, the data to be transferred and setting up the data transfer appliance and adding that information into the DTA device. And we'll also need to create an upload user. Upload user is for Oracle to be able to upload your information into your object storage bucket. So first, let's go ahead and create our data administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to click create user, add the name, we'll add the description, just data administrator, and we can add an email if this is going to be an individual. We'll go ahead and create this and we're going to create our other user. So let's go ahead and grab our upload user, create user, and we're going to do the same here. So now we have both users created. Uh, we'll need to create groups that those policies are going to be attached to. So we'll create a couple groups. And I've called this group for the data administrators, data transfer admin. And as you see here, I've already updated the policies for this. And I have a compartment named data transfer appliance for this particular demo. Uh, we're gonna add our data transfer admin and I'll add our description. We'll create the admin. And while we're, while we're at it, let's go ahead and create the data transfer user group. Sir. And create. Now we have both our data transfer admin and our data transfer user. Next, we're gonna to need to create policies around this. One of the things to keep in mind when you click on policies, where you're actually creating these policies. I'm gonna pop up to root for this and create my policies in the root compartment. And this is going to be the data transfer admin policy. So we'll go ahead and copy this name, add this here, add the description. Um, this is fine, keep policy current, and then we're gonna add a couple statements. Uh, it's much easier, as you can see here, to have these policies already defined, what they need to be, and then we can add, add them in pretty quick and easy just by copying and pasting. All right, now that we have all of our policies for the data transfer admin, we'll go ahead and create this. And there we go, all of our statements. So allow group data transfer admin to manage data transfer jobs in compartment data transfer appliance. We're gonna also allow this data transfer admin to manage buckets in the compartment. And we're gonna allow the data transfer admin, admin to manage objects in the compartment. We still need to create the policies for the upload user. So let's go ahead and create that. Uh, so I'm gonna just grab this name here uh, this actually needs to be user. So we'll grab data transfer user. We'll name that. I'm going to add it to the description. And then we're going to grab our policies here. Now these are a little bit longer. Um, these policies are to help reduce the amount that the upload user is allowed to do. Um, again, the upload user is so that Oracle can upload the data from the data transfer appliance into OCI. Uh, now that we've added our second statement, we'll go ahead and create this. And now we have all of our identity and access management that we need uh, to get the ball rolling.